Hello everybody, I'm here with my friend Vin today. He's going to be helping me navigate through the streets of Harajuku to check out some awesome street food! Okay, first stop on an epic street food tour of Harajuku is Toti Cotton Candy. Mm. And we got something called the Harajuku Rainbow. This goes for 900 yen. Yep. And first of all, like, can I just say how amazing this looks? I have always wanted to eat this. It's just oh so colorful. Look at it. Gosh. Uh, you know, I have a feeling uh. that halfway through this video, we're going to be in sugar coma. Yeah, we're going to die. Like totally sugar yeah. coma. Yeah. Okay. Whoa. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna start at the bottom. Yeah. Okay, and here's what I got. I got purple and blue. They're actually more vivid when you take it yeah, out. Yeah, I know it because scrunched in your hand like this. Mmm. Soda flavor. Is there a grape in here? Mm -hmm. Is there a grape? No, no it's grape. Right. That's right, the purple is grape, the blue is soda. And then I think it's melon, lemon, and strawberry. So let's let's try like the strawberry. It's definitely strawberry. Definitely strawberry. Mm. Mm. Wow. Okay. That's pretty sweet. The flavors remind me of rainbow shaved ice in Hawaii. Presentation wise though, this is the best, most colorful and epic fairy floss I've ever seen. Mm. Fairy floss means cotton <laughs> candy in Australia. For those of you that don't know that. But we're going to finish eating this fairy floss. We'll go to the next one. Okay, now right downstairs from that cotton candy store is this place that sells this ice cream from a place called Rainbow Sweets Harajuku. Check it out, I've always wanted to try this, this road type of ice cream. Itadakimasu! Mm. I taste whipped cream. I should just eat the ice cream. Let's try the green one. Mm. What's wrong with my taste buds today? This one is mango. Okay. And this is strawberry with real strawberries. Mmm. Mmm. Strawberry, I can tell. You know, I think this is pretty cool. Visually appealing. But I feel like the ice cream kind of lacks flavor. Except for the strawberry, the strawberry one is really good. But the rest of the flavors are just kind of like, meh. And I do give them credit for um, being unique and colorful. Mmm, purple one. Alright, next stop is this place called Le Shiner. They're famous for rainbow themed food. And we thought we'd go for savory because we had ice cream, we had cotton candy, so next one is Rainbow Cheese Toast. Rainbow Cheese Toast! So this is 1080 yen. It's a little bit pricey, but you know, it's rainbow and it's cheese. There's no flavoring in any of the colors. It's just plain cheese, but it, you know, who doesn't like a cheese diamond? Cheese Toast. It's like grilled cheese sandwich. By the way, if you didn't know, and if you didn't know, I actually have a recipe for this. Oh, you do? I actually made this on, the, on our, our video. Oh, you did? A recipe video like two years ago. Um, but the toast is crunchy. Very, very nice toast. 
and um, nothing bad to say about it, except mm. I think, you know, Thousand Years is a little bit pricey for yeah. cheese toast. But, you know, once again, rainbow. It tastes just like a normal cheese toast, but I, yeah. I like the presentation. It's yeah. really Instagrammable. I true, true, it's true, true. <laughs> Your recent um, painting is a rainbow theme one, right? I <laughs> love that one. I really do. All right, let's finish this toast and go to the next place. We got a lot to eat today, guys. Number four is a shop with the most unique and creative name. It's called Long Longer and Longest. This shop has everything super long, like super long churro, super long ice cream, but we decided to get something savory again and get something called the Tornado Potato. This is crazy! Now this comes in three different flavors. We got the barbecue flavor, also comes in uh, consomme and butter. Careful now. Is it okay? Is it not hot? Mm -mm. Whoa. Oh, it's good. Is it really? Mmm. Oh, it's good. good this good. is so hard to eat. Like, my, my, my arms are not long enough. Mmm. That is yummo. Crispy outside and soft inside. Mm, kind of chewy, too. Mm. Kind of chewy. Mm. And you know what I like about it? A lot of times, like, uh, any, any seasoned kind of potatoes is too salty for me. Yeah. Like overly seasoned, but this one is like mm. perfectly seasoned. And I was a little bit skeptical at first because you know it's kind of gimmicky. Mm. And usually when food's gimmicky, they're not usually that good. But there's the barbecue flavor. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. 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 Oh, this mm. is good. Oh, oh wow. Wow. I could eat this all day. Me too. Mm. I don't yeah. know all day. I don't I know could. about that, but mm. Mm. I could definitely. Like if I was really hungry, I could finish the whole thing by myself. Oh yeah, for sure. For sure, mm. yeah. So if you if you come to the shop, you gotta get the longest one. It's 800 yen, but that's not bad for this. Yeah. You know, I'm actually getting a little bit full, but I'm not there yet. So let's go get some more food. You know, there are a lot of crepe shops, you know, in this area, but I gotta say this one, this original place is one of the best. Although many people may disagree with me, but they have a secret recipe that they use. They've been making crepes since 1976. So we got something called the Mr. Marion. And this is what it looks like. It's like a crepe with ice cream, there are brownies, there are blueberries, whipped cream, and there's just a whole bunch of goodness in here. It looks pretty amazing to me. Mm. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mm. Whipped cream and banana. Mm. Blueberry. And I'm sure there's a brownie in there somewhere. Um, let's get to the brownie, shall we? I got this because I really wanted the brownie. That's a brownie right there. Oh, this is messy. Mmm. There's just so much stuff in here. Can I be totally honest with you guys? This crepe is fantastic. But personally, I like simple crepes. I like crepes with butter. Crepes with just like one ingredient. Because this is like an ice cream sundae. I'm gonna finish eating this well, we gotta go to the next place. Next, we're at McDonald's. You gotta try the new Gutetama McFlurry. Yeah, Gutetama. Did you know that I'm not that into characters? Except Gutetama. I love Gutetama. I think he is like so adorable. What would this taste like? I mean, what is Gutetama taste? He's an egg. He's a lazy egg. So I'm thinking, is this egg flavored? This has like pieces of cake. I'm thinking it's Castella. Hmm, that's pretty good. It's actually um caramel. There's caramel, vanilla ice cream, 
um, definitely cake, thinking it's castella. I'm trying to look for that egg flavor here. No egg flavor, it's like vanilla with caramel and cake. It's pretty good, it's pretty good. I was expecting a little bit egg flavor though, but I do love, I do love the flavor combination. I do love the cute container and it's 290 yen, so it's pretty reasonable considering all the money we already spent today. If you can't remember the name, just remember it's 250 and it's the cheapest item on the menu. So let's check out what it looks like on the inside. Ooh, mm. look at all the cream. It's creamy, mm. all right. Creamy. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> I think we've had too much to eat. I think so. The sugar is going to our brains. <laughs> all right. Wait. Mm. Wait. Can I have a bite? I am full. I am like stuffed already. I didn't think I could eat anything else. But if it's this good, mm. oh yeah, oh, I like it. Mm, good. Ah, mm, 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 mm. I love the texture. Mm, mm. The texture. The, the outside is so crispy. Inside is like so fresh because mm. they pipe the custard in right when you order it, so it's totally fresh. Mm. The outside remains crispy because they do that. Oh, it's delicious, and the custard is like super good custard. Oh my god, the custard's melting. Then do you know Beard Papa? No. No. What is that? Beard Papa is famous for their cream puffs. They're really, really big cream puffs with fresh custard inside. I'm like, they, they make amazing cream puffs. Mm. But imagine that, but super, super crispy, and of course in a different shape. It's kind of like that. And I think it's a little bit nutty as well. But I love the flavor in this one. Hmm. Thumbs up for this one. Mm. They specialize in fried chicken. Deep fried chicken! Who doesn't love fried chicken? You? I don't think so. I think all of you like fried chicken. You like fried chicken, right? You Come on, everybody likes fried chicken, right? But they have something called the dakkarbi. And dakkarbi is like this Korean chicken that's super popular here in Japan right now. It is like the trending food here. I got the dakkarbi. It comes in like um, four different spice levels. So this is what it looks like. And first of all, I was hoping that there was more cheese on it because all the pictures I see of Takarabi has a lot of cheese but this one doesn't have much cheese on it. Mmm. Mmm. That is yummy. Mm. Oh. That is so good. Is it? It's not that spicy. And there's a little bit of cheese so you do get the cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. The sauce is kind of sweet. Yeah. Sweet, savory. Mmm. Like a chili sauce on Yeah. Mm. Not bad. Mm. I'm in love with this chicken. Mmm, oh, crispy, piping hot. Mmm, so good. Okay, check this out, guys. Look at this plate of huge, like, long potatoes. Like, are these french fries? Oh. Mmm, mmm. You know what this tastes like? This tastes like mashed potatoes, like deep fried mashed potatoes. I think this is mashed potatoes. They have a whole bunch of sauces out front so you can choose your favorite sauces. I just got ketchup. Mmm. Mmm. It's so nice to have something savory after all the sweet stuff that we had today. I also got some of their original sauce. I'm curious to see what that is. Kind of like a mixture of mayonnaise and ketchup, kind of. Hmm, actually not bad at all. I love this. I think I should prefer these to McDonald's french fries. They taste a little bit more flavorful compared to um, the McDonald's ones. I could just eat this without salt, actually, or sauces. Last place on this food tour is Comcrate. 
I had to get this. I mean, this looks so good. Look how delicious this looks. This is completely different from that first crepe shop that we went to Marion Crepe. So I'm really looking forward to this. Feels a little bit mochi mochi, kind of bouncy. Um, there's, a, there's special custard on the inside and the top is uh, sugar and it's uh, flamed to make it like creme brulee. Mm. Whoa! I love that burnt sugar on the top. And it gives that creme brulee taste. The custard is so creamy and thick and rich. Mmm. Oh my god. Okay. This is definitely one of the must-have items on this food tour for sure. Oh my god, we had so much food. I'm kind of happy we're at the end of today's food tour because I, I don't think I can eat anymore. Okay, out of all the food that we tried today, what was your favorite? It's the tornado potato. Tornado potato. Yes, because I tend to like savory things and I really like the texture of that one. I actually was going to say my favorite is the takkalbi chicken. And that actually was my favorite, but I thought, you know, we had a lot of like rainbow colored things and I thought I had to choose one of those. And if I were to choose one of the colorful ones, it would be the cotton candy or AKA fairy floss. Anyway, thank you so much, Vin, for joining me today, helping me out film. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> And if you guys didn't know already, Vin is an abstract artist. Make sure to go check his website out. It's vinwong.com. I left the link in the description. Go click it and check it out because his artwork is amazing. To the rest of you, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to let us know what you thought in the comments down below. What were some of your favorites? And if you missed our past street food videos, check it out by clicking right up there. Until next time, have a great day, everybody. Bye-bye.